All right, I'm back with another edition of Storytime with Mr. Bass. He's got interesting stories, folks. Check them out. After six and a half years of Vietnam, I'm trying to get that disability. You know, DAV says I'm gonna get 100% because when they blew a big hole in our ship and all, I ended up losing my hearing, especially in my left ear. I still got ringing and everything in it. I got that right now. Yeah. Man. And yeah. sometimes I got throbbing in my right ear. Yeah. But uh, what ba was bad was the special forces doing UDT SEAL training, and we were doing rock portage at night during Hell Week. And man, I was launching, I was a boat coxswain, and I had a crew, boat crew of six, and we were pushing out the damn boat. <laughs> and I was reading the waves, I read them, you know, and I had three low sets come in and two high sets. Three low sets, two high sets. So we get ready to push push out. The low sets came in. It just started, so I we I told them to launch. Uh -huh. I was I got my number ones in. I was just putting in my number twos when a rogue wave hit us. And man, that but that, that damn bu the little rubber wrap just the bow just went up huh? yeah it, it, well it went up and down yeah, and okay. i was a coxswain <laughs> on the back and it flipped me off and i and i flew back and landed on the rocks and then the, the surf covered me up oh, and i got man. my legs tangled up in the rocks underneath couldn't get out i saw my whole life flash in front of me you drowned just about didn't you yeah and that was the first time i died i died twice but you died yeah i went yeah, that's what you said yeah you got close to the... yeah oh. i flatlined i flatlined uh, for two minutes and 40 seconds in the hospital when i woke up this little nurse was standing on my chest they'd already paddled me or whatever <laughs> she was sta sitting on my chest with her knees and she was beating on my chest Oh, and yelling man. my name, she was this close to me, right? Yeah. Saying, John, John, and beating on that, you know? And I woke up, and I said, damn, girl, you almost scared me to death. <laughs> and the whole, the whole emergency <laughs> room cracked up. The whole emergency room cracked up. Oh, man. <laughs> I had all those nurses coming up to my room to visit me after that. They said, you were a hoot, you know? Up, so. Yeah, yeah, we're back over here with Mr. Bass. Oh, Tell Jeez, stories. Damn. He's out here working on this lawn again. And you said 77, about to be 78. No, I'm, his, his I'm going to be 67. Yeah, I'll be 77, yeah. May 8. You'll be 77, yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. And you're 68? No, I'm 70, 75. 75, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah so I yeah. can't do what you're doing, man. I'll be dead. I'll be falling down, man. I'm joking with all my friends that Vegas missed me so much. It rained a it rained, it cried so much that it flooded the place, but it ended up messing my my uh, car up. So I had the expenses of getting the car re done for about $3,000. And then I ended up going out and cutting through a vacant lot. Well, it was, a, it was about 35 acres on the boulevard. So and, uh, these two vagrants jumped me from behind, hit me from the back and ended up robbing me. They knocked me down. I never even got one blow in. Wow. I, they hit me from behind and I went down and the two of them just kept kicking me so bad. I couldn't do anything. Wow. I just curled up in a fetal position. I yelled at them, said, all my money's in my front pocket, take it. So they took my money and then they took my iPhone. I had to pay $250 on my insurance for getting a new iPhone. But anyway, after that, it took me about three weeks to recover from all the shoulder and back damage. I was afraid they were going to kick me in the head too many times. But I guess that's the hardest part of me. Wow. But and what'd you, what did you say happened to your car again? Oh, it broke down. From, I had... Uh, the water was flooding in Vegas when I got there mm. so bad that the water was up in my wheel wells. Wow. And I so had to, flash floods. Yeah, it was a flash flood. It was really bad. And I said, the 
so I had to take it in. That was three. So your car dollars. broke down. You ended up getting jumped and robbed, and then you ended up getting COVID at the same. And then I got COVID, and I'm paying fifteen hundred dollars a month for an apartment, and I can't even go out to gamble. God. <laughs> I I was so sick with COVID, I just about died. I told my girlfriend that I'm either coming home in a box or I'll be walking through the door. <laughs> it was just miserable. It was the sickest I'd ever been. Dang. I was so sick, I couldn't even take a shower without laying down. Wow. I mean, excuse me, sitting down. I thank goodness the, the apartment had a ledge on in the shower where I could sit down, I was so weak. And I just stayed, took my vitamins. I never went to a doctor or anything. But it took me about two and a half to three weeks to get over it. I just took my vitamins and slept. Wow. And I finally cured it. I went down, I'd, I'd go down and get in another test on Sunset Boulevard and, and I came back positive two more times. And then finally on the third time they said I was cured. So then I'd go home. I wasn't gonna go home. Well, I couldn't have dri driven anyone but I had to wait till I was cured before I could go back to my girlfriend. Wow. But thank goodness I walked through the door instead of being sent home in a pine box. Well, there you have it, folks. Another story time with Mr. Bass. Hey, if you enjoy this, let me know in the comments. Definitely like this video and subscribe to the channel because depending on the reaction we get from these stories, Mr. Bass might have his own channel coming soon.